The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growl and a problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 244. You got the Nasdaq up 35. S&P's up 18 and a half. Gold contract up four dollars and twenty cents trading at 12.97 an ounce. We have uh, silver uh, trading at fifteen dollars four cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up fifty cents. Sixty-four dollars eight cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A ten-year note down eleven ticks. One twenty-three oh six. Thirty-year off nineteen at one forty-seven oh four. Now both of these did break uh, the swing low, and they have some volume. Now they have less volume, and it will pull it up as to the strength where they broke out from. But uh, bottom line is that you get some uh, volume on the way down today. King dollar, King dollar down 400 ticks, trading 96.410. The euro is at 131 to 1 US dollar. The yen is trading out here at a price point of 111.87. And the pound is at 131.15 to 1 US dollar. And um, where do we start, man? We got a lot going on on well, Friday I just, morning. I just heard that update, man. We're going to start at JP Morgan because Oof. when you took the. the about thirty billion in revenue and about ten, I'll give them in profit. In, in profit, right? That's, That's intense, folks. And the, the the story wasn't even highlighting it because that I guess is just expected, right? That they pull those kind of margins, but it jumped out at me, man. Where I said first, wow, they made you know nine billion, um, and each of them I think was up five percent too. They had profits up about five percent to nine point something billion, revenue up five percent to twenty nine. And that's after paying expenses. To twenty nine point something billion, yeah. Monster Not bad. Money. You take in thirty billion, it only costs you about twenty billion. That's a good business. Oh my God, that's a <laughs> good business. Especially if rates are where they that, are, that's right? That's a sick business, yeah. man. So you get J.P. Morgan. It's, it's taken out its swing point there of the the 19th. Uh, that swing point's a 108. Uh, you can, uh, it, it's going to deal with this 111. Uh, that's your downdraft from uh, December 4th, 111.60. Okay. Uh, it's a big number, though, man. And then you get uh, Disney. So yeah. Disney, seven dollar Disney. No, uh, not even six dollars ninety nine cents. Market a just joke. loves quite it. Quite a number. They should. Know? They should because that is quite a number. It's. it's um, you know, this is where you know it's interesting about this. This is where you know, some things aren't priced into the market. <laughs> that was one of them. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I mean, I think it's a, a brilliant move, and that um, they are not going to be able to compete with Netflix across the board, right? right. So they're only going to be kids and families. So right. why are you going to pay the same price when Netflix is going to have children programming too? Sure. So I think they kind of figured that out, saying, hey, listen, we might have a little bit less value to provide the Netflix right now, yep. at least, right now. That's right. So we'll price it underneath, and who can't afford $7 no, if you have totally. kids and, you know, you're talking totally. about a month? That's, what is that? That's $84 for the year. Right. Um, Right. And right. for a Disney catalog, if you have kids, I'm totally. sure that's worth totally. it, and I'm sure and a lot so of So they're, they're going for the hundreds of millions, not the millions of subscribers. Yes, oh, for that's, sure. That's and what I they're think, going for. I think that, you know, they, they the Fox... Uh, they, they said they're going to lose money for five years on this deal. Oh, boy, okay. Yeah, yeah. no, that's, I mean, that's what you're going to have to do if you're right. going to start competing with right. Netflix and make an impact across the globe for subscribers, too. No doubt. Yeah. Now, you know, we have the S&Ps up, but I want to go to the NASDAQ first. So if you want, look at this, folks. So this is going to get really intriguing going throughout the day. The reason reason being is that, you know, the NDX, you know, bottom line, can't break out of this n number. So it's like, okay, why not? You know, we got to 76.65 out here today. You're at 76.43. If we get over and we go into the S&P, where the S&P broke topside, no doubt about that, man. And the number that you want to keep an eye on the, on the futures is going to be this 2,900. You're 11 okay. points over it right now, and we uh, were, you know, basically 15 points over it. If we take a look at it, this battle's going to be on here for, I suspect, the first couple hours. And this is the first time we're over that 2,900 since October, I think. I yeah. Heard. Oh, yeah. it's a big, it's a yeah. big number, man. It's there's, there's no doubt. I mean, yeah. that's when you peek your head up like this, that's that's a good price spread right now. And you know, we'll see whether the, the yeah. price spread can hold. But that is definitely a good price spread. We go into the uh, Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow. Well, that's interesting, too. Dow hasn't made it yet. So 26,487. Um, yes. Yeah. 
Hey, there's a lot of moving pieces out here. There sure um, are, man. You got a big oil deal, right? It's oh, Chevron yeah. Chevron by an Anadarko, uh, $33 billion. Um, so I guess that's a, what was it, natural gas, liquefied gas type play, I believe. <coughs> okay. Um, yeah, Anadarko. Let's see. A-N-A-D. Well, it's probably right there. Wait, are you looking for the story? No. no I, I was oh, just the stock. stock. Okay. Oh, fifteen dollars. Now, here's the thing, though. I, Occidental supposedly bid seventy dollars. I I'm just not, heard you say that. I'm not yeah. sure what the exact price tag of Chevron's bid is. Yeah. But I believe that seventy is above what the Chevron number came in at. And the CEO is going to get sixty-four million payout. Not bad. Let's see. <laughs> Doesn't seem too astronomical in these days when you sell your company for thirty-three billion if you have stock shares. And you know, what did yeah. we just pop in today? As in? Oh, yeah. Let's let's go back to Disney. Lots for a going on. Let's do it. Well, you know why? This is this is crazy, folks. That this pop in Disney. I had the number. It, they. I think it's. I think it put twenty-four billion. Oh, there it is. Yeah. It put twenty-three billion in their market cap. Yeah, and it might even be up more than that right yes. now. That was. I mean, yeah. yeah. That was at nine thirty. Isn't yeah. that wild? Oh, for sure, man. For oh sure. Oh my God, twenty-three billion. That. Is yeah, they're like... quite a juggernaut. You know, it'll be interesting to see how they try and balance things, though, because what's going to happen is, you know, Iger's come out and said, "Listen, our motion picture, you know, business plan of launching in movie theaters right. is still going to remain because we've made." I think he said $12 billion off of like 12 films, maybe. Or so. You know, you add up their big giants with like Star Wars and um, who is it, the Avengers or something. I mean, it's a staggering revenue. There so, it is right here. So, how. Uh, so, look at this. Studio Entertainment, that might I'm be sure. it, $10 billion. Sure. And then, you know, you get the parks, 24, and media, 21. So, yeah. For, for what we're talking, that's... So they're still going to release those after the fact, right? There'll be that time window yep. where they're going to be in theaters and you'll have your Star Wars launches and all that. They get one... Um, but it'll be interesting because then you're going to have Netflix, though, that's producing huge movies oh, that yeah. are going to come right to streaming service that aren't going to go into right. the movie theaters. Right. So. And we know that Netflix covers everything. I mean, there's so many different yeah, programs right. They have, they have horror, that, yeah. they have drama, yeah. they have, you know, intense uh, R-rated everywhere. Yeah. Disney's not going to have any R, no. I believe. Right. Um, so if you're an adult, you know, you like good, intense movies, right. they're not going to be on Disney for you. So I think that right. reflects in the price. Smart move. And if you have Netflix, folks, there's a new, uh, it's great. It's Our Planet. It's amazing. And it's... Uh, and what's that about? It just, it starts with, it just has, it's like a... Uh, it's like a National Geographic, okay, right? Okay, cool. That's what I was wondering. Whether it's, it was just a drama it, or no, it's a national. No, no, it's, it's just, a geographic it's program. It just brings you around the world. Nice. Showing you around the world the animals. Nice. The, it's, 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 if you like that stuff, it's, it's amazing. Now, since we're staying on... It took on... them four years. Okay, because cool. Because some of the pictures they got, you just can't believe. I'll check like, that out. What's yeah. it called again? Our Planet? Our Planet. Our Planet. Yeah. Nice. As soon as you pop it up, you go to Netflix. They're, they're, the they're top pushing of, it. Nice. It's at the top of the deal, yeah. Um, so staying on the streaming, I know you talked about it a little yeah. bit yesterday, YouTube um, TV, right? Yeah. So Google, of course, Alphabet on that. $50 is going to be. Now, just for TV, as in just for cable... I say TV, YouTube TV, right. you know, you cut the cord. They have a great portfolio. I mean, I, some of my friends have YouTube TV. I think that's how we watch the Super Bowl going back okay. in January. So yes. you get, like, local stations. You get, you know, your Discovery. That's what made me think of it, you know, that they right. just bought uh, that whole portfolio of so Discovery. Home to shop, national no, home, I think, uh, home and God. Yeah, but point being, as we go to break, $50. 50 that's a lot of money because guess what? You're going to have to pay $40 for high-speed Internet. Right. So, boom, you're up to $90. Right. That doesn't include HBO. What if you're on HBO? That's 100 Then you're at Netflix, $110. Right. Disney Plus, you're at 120 There's your cable bill. I don't know. We'll see. I know. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. We have the Dow right now up 225 NASDAQ is uh, trading up uh, 29 s and P's up 17 and a half. Come right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 220. Nasdaq's up uh, 29. S&P's up 18. Let's go to our man, John in Philly. What's happening? What's happening, brother? Hey. Tommy Morning, John. Tom. Thanks, uh, thanks for taking the call, sirs. Absolutely. Definitely. Man. Happy Friday. What's you going on? You ready for a good weekend? Oh, so, uh, yes. Uh, trying to get rid of this last Midwestern snowstorm that uh, just blew through here in the past couple of days. Man, oh, man. This so weather. it came all the way up to Philly? Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm in the Midwest right now, Tom. Oh, you are? Okay. I see. You're checking out the wheat fields. Okay, man. <laughs> yes, I sir. like it. Spring wheat. Say, uh, He's out there checking out the spring wheat, folks, and it got covered with snow last night. <laughs> yes, it did. Yes, it did indeed. I wanted to ask you about uh, the NASDAQ 100, the NQ futures, yep. and the composite index, the cash index. And just to let you know what I'm looking at or thinking about, so long as the uh, composite, COMP hasn't yet exceeded the 8130 high set, either that was last September or October. Um, as long as that has not yet been uh, exceeded, I am looking for clues of reversals at any time. And I'm not forecasting it, I'm just uh, searching that out. Uh, being cognizant that on this light volume kind of slowing rally, an abrupt reversal. Uh, at least a good multi-day trading reversal could occur at any time. So I'm wondering if you can look at your 10-minute chart, uh, Tom, and uh, give us your read of things. What level, if broken, might signal such an event, please? So, you know, first we get the comp up, and you can see, uh, you know, what's so intriguing here, folks, is that the comp and the NDX 100, just on a consistent basis, brings the market up and brings the market down. I mean, that's all the growth stocks. 
Uh, now, that being said, guess what? The last few months, this thing has been having a hard time. And if you take a look at this on a long basis, you can say, okay, listen, you know, we, uh, you know, we are right where we were uh, in January of 2018. And it's like a, sitting there, you get three, three different highs. Um, we're very close to all of them. If we take a look at the futures, what is really unusual out here today, folks, is this, is that the futures themselves, the NQs, this is, the high of the NQs yesterday was 76.61. We got to 76.65, but what the NQs had done yesterday, after they got up there, they closed below it, and they, they're selling in these NQs. And, you know, that's saying that, yeah, bottom line is that, you know, the NQs themselves, this baby can drag down the S&P. And the S&P only has to be dragged down like about seven points right now, and you're going to have, have a monster failure at the high. So I would say that, yeah, if you, you know, going south, just stay south on the uh, NQs right now and see if, uh, if, in fact, as we go through this day, uh, but the NQs drag that S&P lower. You know, we're at, you're at 19. I believe the, the NQ, the S&P has got to get back inside this 2,900 to really get a failure going. So, you know, it's... We'll see where the whole thing goes, but it's, it's definitely unusual, and it's showing weakness in the overall market with those NQs not being able to basically just not only get by the high, like blow by the high. Why sure. not? Do you know what I mean? Because the S&P, you know, I mean, it, it got some good juice, there's no doubt about that. And, you know, Disney's a lot of it. Uh, you got... Uh, JP Morgan, right? Some oh, of those J banks J in there. For sure. Wells Fargo, I think, is yeah. positive on the day. Not yeah. like JP, but yeah. Yeah, you got Anadarko up 15, Disney up 10. Yeah. Versus Netflix pulling back. That's hitting the Nasdaq, yeah. you know. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, so I, I think I think today's going to be a big day, John. Um, you know, as as we commit to this close, because I, you know, just as we're sitting here talking, this S and P's having a hard time getting more buyers. And once you're over a high, man, this thing should be plowing on. I mean, there's no reason the S and P couldn't be up 30 points. And it's not. Yeah. And I right, very good. Yeah. Listen, uh, thanks to you both. Um, you all have a good weekend. You, you too, have a John. great one, man. Have a safe one. And if we go take a look at some of these uh, high, well, actually, let, yeah, let's go take a look at them, because these are these are big numbers, man, uh, that yeah. these, these equities are up. I mean, it's a big day in, in terms of just uh, fundamental news, right? Yeah. Whether you have earnings, yes. you got Disney, you got Netflix, yeah. you got the Chevron deal. Right. Um, yeah. Big numbers. Yeah. You got, so... Yeah. Anadarko's the big one, 15. Yep. Disney's 10. Chevron's the opposite of that now. That's down six. Yep. JP Morgan's up four. Yeah, and then look at Wells Fargo's up a buck right there. You got Bank of America up a buck, only a $30 stock. Yeah. Yep, and they, the Bank of America is going after the highs out here of the last six months. 30, 30 14. You're at uh, 30.04. We, uh, JP Morgan. Yeah, they're still buying it. Yeah. You know, and you're going against, and we'll get 23 million. You're going against the downdraft of 23 million. So yeah. let me just see this on a weekly. This is going to get, uh, on the weekly, you're not going to get it, but let's see. 86 million. No, you need No, I'm not going to get it on the, on the weekly, yeah. but, you know, there's a, there's, that, that, that blows my mind, actually, that, the profits that they took to the bottom line. Pretty remarkable, yeah. right? It, so let's even go is. back. So here's where we're looking. So 9.18 billion profit, right. rising 5%. Revenue, right in line, 5%, 29.9 billion. And to get down to some of the bigger numbers, so there's their profit, 265 a share. The yeah. estimate was only 235, so quite a beat there. And uh, revenue exceeded by 1.5 billion. Yeah. Um, and net interest income rising 8%. Higher rates, of course, and now that's going probably to the earlier side of that uh, quarter. Um, yeah, I think I saw a number that for the year they're thinking that they're going to do net interest income at fifty-eight billion <laughs> for the year. This is wow. Yeah, I know it's a wow, particularly because what you have is that the uh, the spread is not that dramatic right now. But guess what? Yeah, it has to do with how much money's out there. And there's a lot more, there's a lot of money out there. That's the real bottom line, you know, so. Lots of B billion numbers in their earnings as I scroll amazing? through. Yeah. I mean, it really is. It's like, phew. Yeah. And that was. So there is, so that's, that's a big number. See that net interest margin, 2.57. That's yes. big. Yeah. 
That's... Now that was the ex expectation. I'm not sure when oh, they okay. came in. They were okay. just saying, but they, okay. they're probably either okay. around it or beat it. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. They they get so many numbers in here, man. It's amazing, you know. Um, yeah. Let's see, JPM. Maybe that top one might just give you the full breakdown. There you go. Okay, so that's going to be trading too. Fixed income and commodity, right? What is the fi yeah. fixed income? Look at this. Almost every pot. So investment bank in the estimate was a dollar sixty-three. They did one. Uh, no, one point six three billion. They did one point seven five billion. Equity sales and trading. It was one point seven three billion. They did one point seven four billion. And there you are, right above that. There it is. That's yeah. Net interest income at least fifty eight billion for just, the, yeah. just for the fiscal billion. fiscal here, yeah. Pretty that's remarkable. The, and that's the one they don't have to they don't have to do anything, folks. It's just what's the cost of money in and what do they charge for the money out. And so they did come in at pretty close. Two point five six percent, estimate was two point five seven. Um, return on equity sixteen percent. Assets under management, two point one trillion. Trillion. Quite that's a number, it. man. Quite a number. Huge. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow up 223. NASDAQ up 34. S&P's up 19. Come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back.
back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 222. Nasdaq's up 36. S&Ps are up 19 and a half. And Uber. Uber is uh, running to the IPO window. They sure are, man. Like we said, lots going on, stories to cover today. So they came out with their fact sheet last night, right, in terms of really hardcore numbers, what yes. they're doing, in terms of how many billions of dollars they're losing every year. Um, but nonetheless, the founder is quite a payday they're going to come into. So I'm sure we're all familiar with Travis Kalanick, uh, who was the CEO. Uh, looks like he's going to walk in. I mean, I say I read articles yesterday somewhere between seven and nine billion, maybe. Yeah. Um, interesting though, one of his co-founders, not one of I think the co-founder, Garrett Camp, uh, he's coming in at like maybe six billion. And we're joking that uh, he's kind of been able to lay low. As in, now I'm sure he's out there, right? I don't know where he is here. As in, yeah. if you really are in the industry, I'm sure you know about him. But every layperson might know, not every, right? But you know, maybe you've heard of the CEO as sure. they've caught flack. They had to bring in the new CEO, right? right? This guy's caught no flack, and he's walking into six billion, and Kalanick's kept walking into seven billion. Right. Um, and one of the earlier employees walking into about 2.4, uh, Ryan Graves. Uh, Big money. Oh, it'll be interesting to see what happens, man. So, and what happens is that, the, so what they're doing out of a dollar, they're, they're basically, one of the analysts is saying they, they're only getting nine cents out of every dollar to start with, you know. And what do you what do you mean by that? that? It's between the when you pay the driver, when they when they're paying for whatever they got to pay. Oh, they're, they're getting nine cents. Nine cents out of every dollar. Okay. Um, and then you know, so they, they really. They, That's their margin, basically. Yeah. So okay. what, they're, what they're pushing is that they're pushing that this platform is a new platform that we're all going to get used to, and we're going to be selling a lot more than just cars and food. Um, you know, yeah. on this platform. Yeah. So that's that's the basically the promise. Sure. You know. Yeah. So, um, I suspect it's going to be. You know, when you get a market that's up like this, the bottom line is that they'll they're going to get plenty of buyers. You know, the real question is what, what is going to be the valuation, right? Yeah. You know. Let's just see if we search for Uber. I wanted to see if it comes up. Uh, no, it's not. Let's see what they have in here. Let's see if they got anything. No. All right. We'll we'll check it out during the break. I wanted to pull up. Well, there's lots of stuff on it. Yeah, no, they'll, 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 because it's, it's a, it's going to They're going to start having a symbol and, yeah, and so forth. Right, they'll have an equity right. up there, right? And this is going to, this will go quicker than you, you'll see how. Oh, yeah, right, 10 days or two weeks, no, seven totally. days, a, a yeah. week or two. Because once, if they get everything in place, once you, they, they get the placeholder. So the placeholder is what they did last night. Okay. And okay, we're going. Every, yeah. And before they even do that, They've already shown all this. Oh, yeah, right, now, right. now it's like, okay, everything's yeah. in order. Here we go. Um, yeah. You know, the broker dealers will be on the road Monday. Well, they're probably on the road this weekend. Oh, definitely, right? Um, they were on the road yesterday. Know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> L-Y-F-T. And you can see. And poor lift. You know, bottom line is that. Not again uh, today. You know, and that's, look at the, so it's making its way. 56 is the ABC down. We hit 57.66 this morning. I mean, we're down 50% from the high that we were at March 29th. That's a staggering number. 50%. We just went from 90 to 60. 33%. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. As in the 68. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's intense. Only 33%. That, no, no, no. Only. It's staggering. Yeah. It's, it's staggering. Exactly. The other way to put it, I think my head was getting lost. You have to go up 50% yes. from no, right I, now I, I to get back to I, where I you knew, are. No, this, no. no and, I just and that's got important. Lost that's important to know yeah. because that's, that's, that's real. That it's $30 off its high and it's trading at 60 yeah. bucks. Good luck getting back to 90 as Uber comes to market, too. Oh, my God. Yeah. So let's go to this dollar index. Oh, look at that. That's, that's the first time that we've gotten any... Okay, we'll see what happens here. So we get 10,000 contracts, and that's unusual, folks. Uh, when I say it, it's not unusual in the context of how it's supposed to be trading. That's totally unusual compared to what we've been doing. You know, I mean, look at all day yesterday, you only did 10,000. The prior day, we did 13. The day before that, you did 9,400. We're at 10,000, and you did break back underneath this... Uh, February 15th, 96,685. So this will get interesting out here today, especially on a Friday. Yeah, look at this, though. The volume dried up intraday, too. Look at that. Oh, my God. So the last sell, was that 8 o'clock? Yeah, 8.10 this 8, morning. 8.10 this morning. And what that was doing, so if you want to just see how these high volumes like to get tested, it was testing that high volume over there from 96,405. Yeah. <laughs> We're at 96,405, man. But... Hey, this this could be a start. That that dollar. Uh, 
We'll have a one-day wonder of uh, volume as it uh, moves a little bit lower. And what are we at? I think we're getting 4.55%. Uh, Was that where we're at? Four, uh, excuse me, 2.55. I was going to say, yeah, yeah 2.54 on right. the yield of the 10-year. Right. So, that, yeah, I'm glad you brought this up because this is serious business today, folks, okay? Um, this, is, this, is a, this is a break of a swing. Now, you come into strength, but you can see... That's a decisive break. You get a million, yeah. con you get a million contracts. So I not brought it up. When I heard 2.55, I said, oh, 2.55. We were just sitting at 2.45 not yeah. that long ago. Then, yeah. yeah. So the swing has about uh, 1.7. Now, you, you're coming into you, this one here. You'd have to change the... When this broke, I have to change the actual future because we're, we're rolling over right Okay, here. you're looking at a previous contract. You want to see the yeah. volume. Yeah. So you're coming into the strength from the 20th. Uh, which is 122.23. The high of that is that 123.17. So this is going to be important watching how this shakes out right now. Um, you know, it, as I just, when I was, we were talking to John, it looks to me like I think the S&P is going to have a hard time holding price. Um, you know, and, it's been, and I'm going right back to that NASDAQ, man. Um, you know, because it, it's, it's just a heads up. That when that Nasdaq uh, can't hold price, so we'll see how this uh, shakes out. And what oh. will what will start happening happening too is as we get the earnings though, news stories. That's where you're going to get some of that diversion, which is what's happening today. You know, yeah. you got a big pullback from Netflix, big yeah. factor in the Nasdaq 100, right? You got Disney popping big, more in the S and P. Huge. Um, yeah. And we had a question: Is uh, did United Health jump the creek? And it did. This is serious business. Now this is the the health business is under fire, folks. Yeah, quite a slide for them. Even oh yeah. After this, this, we can get into the intraday. It was it was quite a slow demise yesterday, as in it just wasn't one jump. That thing traded lower all day. It seemed it, like it did, and it was pounding into these uh, high volume lows. So we're looking at a weekly here, okay? Yeah. And now what you're going to have here, you know, you, you you're breaking a big consolidation. Okay. And so that puts in play 208. You know, because you can see 208 sticking out like a sore thumb. Now, yeah. look at this. This is crazy, folks. This is a blast of the past because the 208 is the high volume low from February 9th that all the indices went to, but yet okay. United Hell didn't. Yeah. That's what it's going after. Yeah. So. IGPO? Yeah. Yeah. That's what, yeah. I mean, look at that yesterday. It's not often the stock trades all day practically. Exactly. You know, um, there was just every single 10 minute bar there. They were like, we're going to trade lower all the way up until what, 2.30? Yeah. Then they got a little bit of a pock. And here, you want to see this? This is something simple. ABC down, intraday. You could just, just take the top of yesterday and be the most conservative. So top of yesterday is 2.46. Yeah, really 2.47 if you're going. Yep. Uh, 2.32. So we get what, 15 bucks? Yep. And then 15 off of uh, 2.35. Well, you, are you going to go? I mean, that opened. Yeah, no. you, you can do that. Yep. Uh, 15 off 236. Yeah. Yeah. So. Is that 221? Yeah. Yeah. And. That's a, that's some serious selling. Oh, definitely. Serious. We were just at 250. We we're at 228. Watch out. Watch out. Dow Industrials up 215. Nasdaq is up 29. S&P is up 16 and a half. Now that S&P, keep an eye on it right now because this is going to be the number that bulls and bears are going to fight big time. Come right back. If you are in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190.
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 184. We get the Nasdaq up 25. S&Ps are up uh, 14. Let's go over to the S&P for a second. This is always intriguing, man, when like, yeah, you get a market that there's no reason that it doesn't stay higher, and then you just have divergence. And, you know, this S&P, it's, it's going to try to get into this uh, 2,900. We'll see... Uh, you know, it's going to need more volume. You know, your first leg down wasn't bad, 29,000 contracts. Um, right now, you're only you're two minutes into this bar. Yeah. Uh, the Dow, let's just look at that Dow for a second, because something's giving it up inside the Dow, too. Not necessarily giving it up, but that's... No, they're all that, off their highs, oh, for that's, sure. That's, right? Well, actually, that's pulled back pretty good, right? It's off 100 points. Yeah. Uh, and it, never, it didn't make its high of uh, last week, folks, which yeah. is the... 26,487. So, that's... Can you go into the description for them? Uh, whoop, bless Sorry, you. Excuse me. Here you And I just wanted to see some of the movers or what, uh... And that's where, I mean, you see, right? It's like oh, look. big stories on both directions, all yep. right? So you got Disney putting almost 70 positive points on the upside, all to do with their Disney Plus, not really do with the market, right? Yes. And then you got UNH. Well, that might have to do with the market in terms of quite a 60 points, but then Chevron, not so much. Their deal, market not really liking that, um, putting about 45 negative points. Uh, Boeing getting a little bit of a pop. It's interesting, too, because I saw a new story this morning. We can go into Boeing and see what we got on news going with them. Southwest at least pushing back to August. Um, there, yeah, grounding, there we go. So there, no matter what, Southwest doesn't have them on the schedule at all. Um, grounding until August. So as in not a good story, right? You know, no. just as, I haven't heard a good story for Boeing in a while, but nonetheless up five bucks. Yeah, so Southwest announced on Thursday, it's fleet of their 737 MAX airliners will be grounding, grounded until at least August. They were moved from our schedule through August 5th, 2019. The adjusted schedule already in effect. Um, That's pretty cool. I mean, I, I, I like the idea that they did that, really. Yeah, they're I mean, basically coming out because they don't know. The FAA could come out in a month yeah. and say we're good, right? 
and they probably made a calculation, man. Do you want to be the gate agent no. in, in a month, putting people on a 737 MAX? No. There's executives having those discussions saying, yeah. listen, when they come back, and Boeing is going to come back and say, we're, oh, yeah. we're good here. Right. What does the airline then do right. to make sure their parent, uh, passengers feel like they're right. good? Whew. Yeah. And Tense. no matter what, they said, we're going to give it some time. Yeah. Yeah. Slightly. Yeah. Slightly. Okay, so this, uh, this let's go to the MQs for a second. MQM9. Is S and P's going to be negative in the next 15 minutes I, by the time the, we get the, off the, the air? The NQs are dragging it down, folks. This is pretty wild watching this thing shake out. So the NQs just went from 76.65 to 76.32. Yeah. Um, you know, you're you're up 14 and a half now, but guess what? You're right into the. This is going after the lower range and uh, you know there's still gonna need a little more volume here but uh well, well you better talk quick we're moving fast no, exactly <laughs> because this is what does happen when you when you get something that doesn't hold like this that you know as a technician you know a technician versus the fundamentalist right is basically when you get a break top side like this is that you know whether i think it should have gone lower because i think it should have because there's no volume right it had every chance to go higher. I mean, it's a break higher. It should go higher. And fundamentally, if you listen to what's going on, it should go higher. And then, so when you put that together, though, that they're selling it is like a problem. It says, okay, so you really do have sellers up here. And, you know, so these are unique days when this actually happens, folks. You know, we've been up at this level for a long period of time. It got the break going. You know, it's still a break. I mean, if you're over 2,900 at the end of the day, you're, 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 you're broke oh, topside. Oh, I'd say so, exactly. You know, uh, but this battle will be on. That's why they call them bulls and bears. Um, and how about Apple? Pulling back a bit today in, in light of a positive market, but Apple down about buck fifty-eight. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's. Not sure what's really hitting them, but just... um, another. Just while we're on it, I, I was reading about that uh, YouTube TV. So yes. fifty dollars, right? Right. If you pay for YouTube TV through Apple, you build fifty-four ninety-nine, basically fifty-five dollars. Pay ten percent, basically just as a convenience fee to like purchase YouTube TV through to Apple. To use money. Yeah. Um, staggering yeah. out there when you start talking about that type of stuff. And one of my buddies was saying, I was like, what is, who is doing that? And he's like, convenience fee. And it's basically all it is. I mean, if you're in that Apple ecosystem and you want to run everything through the Apple store, you can do that. Maybe it's a little convenient. Five bucks, not the end of the world. But when you yeah. start talking percentages, man. Um, and that's the battle that Apple's going to deal with because who in their outright mind is doing that, okay? So then you shouldn't be going through Apple. So is Apple going to eventually lose business if they're charging for the same exact product in their ecosystem wow. for 10% more money? Um, and if they're not, then the other, you've already seen it, when they're trying to build their streaming where the content providers are complaining because they're saying you're taking 30%. Right. And that's where they're probably going to say, well, you have to charge more money if you want to take 30%, right? I mean, right. that's obviously a discussion that YouTube had and saying, listen, if you want to charge more money then interesting to see how that plays out in the years that come. It's amazing. Yeah. And well, and, you know, in that context, the, uh, I'm going to bring you way back now. Okay. I know you were born then. Oh, right? boy. But the, well, Was the, there TVs or? Okay. No, the ATMs, okay? Sure. So when ATMs, ATMs first started, folks, the bottom line, this is what's pretty amazing, they actually started in New England. Okay. And they started in Boston. And they were, and they were wondering then, if people would, I think it was 50 cents the first charge, if people would actually go to an ATM, okay. pay 50 cents to get it out. Okay. Well, needless to say, it went from 50 cents to $3 to $6 so quick, and then another company bought it out. Then all the banks got together and did it. But sure. um, I remember that so well yeah. at, the, at the very beginning. Sure. And I think that these people, they probably have, uh, well, even Apple has, you know, like, people are used to fees. Let's just put it on. Let's see what, what, if we hey. get it. You know what I mean? It's but the fees are huge, man. I mean, when you when you think about the fees, just that we charge Visa or Mastercard, that's why they make so much money. Yeah. You know, instead of paying cash, you know, we're paying three percent on everything. That's not why often. We get so much kick. Not often do you pay fees on something that you don't have to pay a fee for if you charge it at another website, though, immediately. Yes. As in, you know, oh, that's the difference. Oh, it's like we yeah. are used to fees because they're almost a necessity. Whereas you fly in an airline, there's no like, do you want to pay for your bag they with me? That or do you want to? Yeah. Um, they figured that but out. But I don't understand how you going to charge fees on a consistent basis going on years, right? Where it's like somebody is eventually oh, yeah. going to wake up and say, why am I billing for YouTube TV through Apple? Right. I can just sign up through Alphabet, Google, right. 
That's a transition. I don't yeah. know how they're going to fight that one. So For sure. All right. I, yeah. I can see that. I can definitely see that. 877-927-6648. Let's go inside the NDX and see strength versus the weakness. So the strength out here is Checkpoint Software. It's up 3.8%. Illumina is up 3 Align is up 2 Taken away from it, Netflix, 36 down. Monster Beverage off 2, Ray Generon off 1.3, and Fox off 1.2. Can we own a Netflix for a second? Yeah. I want to see what kind of... So Disney popping more than $23 billion in the market cap. Let's see. So Netflix is a 15... Uh, excuse me, $154 billion company, I think I saw there. So 154 Yeah, 154 what did, what did we say it was down? 3.5% about? Yeah, so 15, uh, 15 billion would be 10%. So you're down about 5 to 6 billion off their market it's cap. Maybe bad. a little more. Um, no, not that bad. No. But in context, Netflix entirely is only worth 150 billion. Disney just added 25 billion overnight. So that, that's saying it's going to be a competitor. They're happy in yeah. Disney headquarters. Oh, too. right. 877-927-6648. Dow's up 189. Nasdaq's up 16. S&P's up 13. Come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002 when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the gold report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your gold report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by sign up today since 1984 basil chapman has been using the chapman wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion while originally hand drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply later basil found that computer software which included the standard market technical indicators enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns as well as market trend calls thus was born the chapman wave sequence using the chapman wave methodology along with other indicators basil chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call basil's daily trading newsletter by visiting the front page of tfnn.com can't at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up at 208. NASDAQ up 20. S&P's up 15. And um, 
Now the battle's going to be on here. So your battle's going to be on about five points in the S&P, folks. Uh, you know, we take a look at the uh, NDX just through the Qs, and you're going to see that um, bottom line, not much happening here. Sideways move. Small caps. We go take a look at the small caps. Let's see what. Sideways move also. It's, it's and the small caps the, the only major industry that hasn't hit the high yet. 159.50. Didn't we say the dollar hadn't hit the high yet too? Oh, I, I think uh, what I meant by that is that see that the dollar taking oh, the recent it out one. That's right. Week, okay. Yeah. yeah. So the the high we're talking. No, you're right. About I was February, just getting straight. February yep. deal. Um, hey. Kick, we're in and we're in earnings seasons now. That's that's the bottom line. Yeah, um, and you're going to see some of this divergent that we're kind of seeing today. And I keep bringing it up, ooh. but you are. Yeah, that was that was, that was that was a that. quick at, turnaround. Yeah, this is uh, Wells Fargo. Market saying Wells Fargo is not exactly J.P. Morgan. They sold that down. So that's Can we go that, into the news for that's them. That's affecting the S and P. That's what's going on there. So. Um, I mean, let's see where. Yeah, I mean, there's none of these articles are going to be uh, up to date enough to incorporate why this that's reversed. Yeah. yeah, right. Because we got oh, a high on here. We, let's see. Is that going to go? Well, maybe this is it. So oh, we'll, yeah. sharply after CFO projects that net interest income will, will decline, decline in 2019. So and, where is he? The CFO, we'll, is he on the earnings call maybe? Um, let's see if we go back. I always say it. Um, just pull it up and see if see if that earnings call. I love those TD Ameritrade oh, there charts. Is, There's yeah. your earnings at 8. There's we get the call. call starting at 10 o'clock. Look at that. It took them all of. Is they better get off the phone, man. Is that a five minute This is a five minute. So, so the, it took 10 all of, 30 it began. Yeah, it took all of 20 minutes. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. We got Fast Market coming up next. Let me get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back. Well, I won't be back this afternoon. Have a, have a great one, folks. Thanks, man. Well, I'll get them, folks.